and this setup was actually configured to charge uh, two 10 farad uh, supercapacitors which are able to provide the high output current that's required by the door lock. Um, and since the output current is a little bit higher than what's rated for the output terminals of our board, we are going to uh, power the, the door lock directly uh, using the super, using the, the super caps. Um, I, and I have a light connected here, um, and that, that's set up to indicate um, when the super caps are, are um, above about 80% charged. So the, the door lock itself is, is manufactured by a company uh, called MyLocks. And they have a, an app that you can download on your smartphone, um, which is able to connect to the door lock and uh, actually tell it to lock and unlock. Um, you can also uh, type in the, a code to the front, which I have set to uh, be 1234. So you can see once I power or connected the door lock to power, uh, my phone, did, uh, the Bluetooth turned on and my phone was able to connect to the door lock. I can unlock the door by, by swiping over and uh, then lock it again. Or I can also use the, the code to do the, the same thing. And I can get about 20 uh, lock cycles um, using the, this capacitor setup. Um, in this light environment, these capacitors will take about uh, an hour to, to charge up. Um, if they're placed in a brighter environment, uh, say right next to a window or on the outside uh, surface of a door, um, they could be charged in as little as 15 minutes. Um, so very, very viable uh, solution. Um, for an electronic door lock, oftentimes they get they get really good light. Um, so that is one one good application uh, of our low light solar.